The snap tight assembly system locks end channels to wall sheets without the need for tools or fasteners. To assemble each panel, the perimeter channels are secured to the top and bottom of each sheet. Gently tap the channel over the snap tight lugs and work your way along the sheet. Each channel should be fit to the center of each sheet. Simply tap the channel along until it's aligned. We're going to join our splice channels now. Basically, we're just joining a pair of channels together to make a longer one. There are three parts, a left channel, a right channel, and the joiner. Looking at the part numbers, you'll see that the left channel has the letter L and the right channel has the letter R at the end of the part number. There are also printed arrows pointing to the end of the channel that needs to be joined. The joiner, called a CSJ, needs to be put in the right way to match the channel. Make sure that you've got the long sides matched up. Place the CSJ centered on the end and press in as shown until you hear it click. Repeat this with the other side and then make sure that both halves are butted up against one another. Do this for the rest of the splice channels in the pack before beginning construction. Let's get started with the rear panel. To construct the rear panel, we're going to need 154B channel, 181D channel, 244F sheets and 144G sheets. The part numbers are printed onto the parts for easy identification. Start by laying out your sheets so the 44G sheet is in the centre and the holes along the edges are aligned. Next we'll overlap one of the 44F sheets with the 44G sheet, ensuring that the holes are aligned, ready to be screwed. Fasten the sheets together using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat the process for the other 44F sheet, overlapping it so that the holes align. Fasten the sheets together using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Now that your screws are in, take channel 54B and attach it to the top of the combined sheets using the snap type method. The channel will need to have the short side facing towards the outside of the panel. Repeat the process for channel 81D, attaching it to the bottom of our sheets. Now our splice channels are in position on the sheet, we can screw into the CSJ that joins them. Use the 3mm drill bit to drill out the holes in the centre of the 54B channel. With the holes clear, we can secure the 54B channel to the CSJ using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat these steps for the other side of the panel. Just be careful not to draw through the sheet. That's it done for this channel. Now do the same for the one at the bottom, the 81D channel, securing it top and bottom with the four self-tapping screws. This completes the rear wall assembly. Let's do the left side panel assembly. We'll need one 61D channel, 181E channel, one X8L sheet and the X7L sheet. 
To start, orientate your sheet so that the pre-punched holes in the centre are aligned and overlapping. Once the holes are aligned, use two 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the sheets together. Next, get the 61D channel and attach it to the top of your sheet using the snap type method. Ensure that the short side of the channel is facing outside. Repeat the process for the bottom using the 81E channel. This will complete our left side panel. Time for the right side panel. We'll need one 61D channel, one 81E channel, one X7R sheet, and an X8R sheet. To start, orientate your sheets so that the pre-punched holes in the center are aligned and overlapping. Once the holes are aligned, use two of the 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the sheets together. Next, get the 61D channel and attach it to the top of the sheets using the snap type method. Ensure that the short side of the channel is facing the outside. Repeat this process for the bottom using the 81E channel. This completes the right side panel. Let's do the roof panel assembly. To construct the roof panel, we're going to need two of the 81C channels, two 88J lips, and three 43S sheets. Align your three sheets so that the holes on the long edge are lined up with the other sheets. Overlap the sheets by one rib, making sure that the holes are aligned. Use four of the 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the sheets together. Use four of the 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the sheets together. We're going to attach one of our 81C channels to the top of our joint sheets using the snap type method. Don't forget to keep the short edge of the channel facing towards the outside of the sheets. Get the other 81C channel and repeat the process for the other edge of the sheets. We'll attach our lips now. Get one of the 88J lips and this will overhang the end of our panel. Place the lip over the top of the channels and align with the pre-punched holes. Fasten the lip to the sheet using four of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat the process for the remaining lip, aligning it over the channels at the end of the sheet. Fasten using four of the 10mm self-tapping screws.
Use a 3mm drill bit to drill out the holes in the top of the CSJ. Secure the top of the CSJ using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat the process for the underside of the CSJ. Do the same for the other channel, drilling out and fastening with four of the 10mm self-tapping screws. This will complete our roof panel assembly. Time to start the front panel assembly. To construct the front panel, we'll need one 89A jam, one 89B jam, one 90B jam, one 54A channel, one 54C channel, one 79B channel, and two 32A sheets. Place the two 32A sheets so their narrow pans are in the centre of the panel. Leave a gap the width of a sheet between them. This will become the doorway. Attach the 54A channel to the top of the sheets using the snap type method. The short side of the channel will face the outside of the shed. Make sure the corner hole in the sheet aligns with the outer centre hole in the channel. Repeat this process for the other sheet. Make sure the corner hole of the sheet aligns with the outer centre hole in the channel. Attach the 54C channel to the bottom of the sheets. The holes in the sheet and the channel will need to align the same as they did at the top. Take the 89A jam and slide it between the top and bottom channels. Once slotted in, make sure that it overlaps the sheet and the holes are aligned. Use four of the 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the jam to the channels and the sheet. Secure the ends first and then do the center holes. Take the 89B jam and repeat the process for the other side, sliding it between the channels and the sheet. Once slotted in, make sure that it overlaps the sheet and the holes are aligned. Use four of the 10mm self-tapping screws to secure the jam to the channels and the sheet. Secure the ends first and then do the center holes. Place the 90B jam at the top of the doorway. The notches in the 90B jam will slide over the 89A and 89B jams. Make sure the holes are aligned and the jam is placed correctly. Then use two of the 10mm self-tapping screws to fasten the jam to the channel. Using the 3mm drill bit, drill out the two holes in the center of the channel. Fasten the channel to the CSJ using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Now at the bottom of the doorway, place the 79B channel into the 54C channel. Make sure the short side of the 79B channel is sitting to the outside and that the holes align. Fasten the channels together using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Use the 3mm drill bit to clear out the centre hole in the 79B channel and then fasten using one of the 10mm self-tapping screws. 
it's time to flip the sheet over. We recommend you get a friend to help you with this. We'll secure the jam at the top by screwing two of the 10mm self-tapping screws into the corners. Take the 3mm drill bit and drill out the center holes in the channel. Secure the channel using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat the process for the bottom of the doorway using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Use the 3mm drill bit to drill out the center holes in the channel. Fasten the channel using two of the 10mm self-tapping screws. That will complete our front panel assembly. We'll construct our door panel next. To construct the door panel, we'll need one pad bolt, one door plate, 158A channel, 158B channel, 258C channels, 291A jams, and the B sheet. Start by orientating your sheet. We have ours orientated so the holes for the lock are on the left side of the screen. Take one of the 58C channels and attach it to the top of the panel using the snap type method. Repeat this process for the other 58C channel, attaching it to the bottom of the sheet. Next, take the 58A channel, it's the one with the hinges. Attach it to the right side of the panel. For this channel, we'll need the long side of the channel facing outside. Slide it underneath the 58C channels at the top and bottom. You'll know you've got the channel in the right position if the hinges fold upwards. Repeat this for the 58B channel. Remember to put the long side of the channel facing towards the outside. Now that the channels are on, secure the corners using four of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Now that that's done, do the remaining holes in the channel using six more screws. Make sure they align with the holes in the sheet underneath it. Flip the panel over and use four more screws to secure the back of the channels. While our panel is turned over, we'll attach the door bracing. Take one of the 91A jams and align its holes with a diagonal row of holes in the sheet. Both ends of the jam will slide underneath the channels. Once aligned, use a screw at either end of the jam. Do this from the underside of the sheet. This will hold our jam in place so we can flip the sheet over and more easily do the rest of the screws. Repeat this process for the other jam, ensuring it's aligned with the diagonal row of punched holes. Now that the jams are held in place, flip the panel over again and use six screws to finish securing the jams to the sheet. Next, we'll need the door plate. Place it over the holes on the left side of the sheet. Once aligned, fasten using two screws into the holes furthest from the edge. Get the pad bolt and place on the door plate. 
Align the four holes and then fasten with four 10mm self-tapping screws. With our door panel complete, it's time to attach it to the front panel. Place the front panel so you have access to the holes for the hinges. Use the 3mm drill bit to clear the sheeting that sits behind these holes. Place the door panel over the front panel in the open position and unfold the hinges. Make sure that these align with the holes in the front panel. Once aligned, use a pop riveter to fasten the door hinges to the front panel. You'll need to use six pop rivets to secure the door. Test your door opens and closes smoothly. We've now finished our door panel and attached it to the front panel. To start the final assembly, we'll stand up the front panel. A nice trick is to use the door as a stand. Just be careful if there's any wind though. We'll be attaching the right side panel first. Slide the panel's top and bottom channels into the notches in the front panel. Make sure that the holes align. Take four of the 10mm self-tapping screws and fasten the front and right side panels together. Next we'll be attaching the left side panel to the front panel. Again, slide the panel's top and bottom channels into the notches in the front panel. Make sure that the holes align. Next, we'll be attaching the rear panel. Align the rear panel with the right side the same way we did with the front panel. Sliding the channel of the right side panel into the notch in the rear panel. Make sure that the holes in both sheets align. Secure the two panels together using three of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat the process for the left side of the rear panel, aligning the sheet then fastening with three of the 10mm self-tapping screws. The last panel to go on will be the roof. Make sure all the wall panels are properly secured and square, as you may run into issues aligning the holes in the roof if it's all skew if. Place the roof panel on top of the shed. Make sure that the lips are on the outside of the shed. Align the punched holes in the roof panel with the holes in the rear panel top channel. Work your way across the roof panel using six of the 10mm self-tapping screws. Repeat this same process for the front holes using six more of the 10mm self-tapping screws.
The last step of the assembly is to attach the pad bolt hasp onto the front of the shed. Center the hasp over the pad bolt shaft and use the 3mm drill bit as shown. Finish with the two 10mm self tapping screws. Now the shed is complete, any leftover holes can be finished off with a screw. Now the shed is complete, any leftover holes can be finished off with a screw.